Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great and today I have my mini hot plate from Miniware, the MHP30 that I made a video of and I will link that first video in the description where you can check it out and today I will actually reflow a small PCB with this and uh, here we go I plug it in to its supplied power brick and here we go you have the two buttons a and b and you have a led here that shows the temperature range the hot plate is in i all told you that in the first video so here i have my small pcb shaky hands and we will reflow it so i hit the a button and it starts heating up and uh, if you do not want to wait you can fast forward if you like i want to just want to show it how long it actually takes to do this so we will wait and see the led changes color as it gets hotter and normally i do this in my small reflow oven but uh, like this it's easier for me as I can see what's happening and um, also if I need to do any repairs this is the way to do it because I mentioned that in the reflow oven when you take it out it's gonna cool down right away and you might get lucky to take the piece off that you need to replace but not much more So we have some smoke coming up, obviously, and the solder paste is liquef liquefying, liquidifying. just not sure if the legs of the micro USB keep pushing it off the PCB but I don't think so so I didn't time this obviously because I'm recording it with my phone now it actually has reached 200 degrees and the solder paste is melting I give it a couple more seconds because here I still have no connection it's getting right now and I think that should do it just looking around my phone to get a better view and yes now I can lift it up and you can see the result here and I can turn the well, I have it in my right hand the button is on the right so I will hold this for a couple of seconds minutes I switch my hand and long pressing the B button turns it off and it will slowly cool down very slowly do not touch that hot plate well anyway this is it short and painless and my wife is making some noise in the background sorry about that and this is it i will show you i will pause the video and then i will show you the finished pcb again okay this is after i paused actually i stopped the video so now i can handle the pc pcb pc i'm talking to my friend about pcs so uh anyway i figured i could actually use the cover which is from silicone and put the pcb down because it would probably not harm my table but still 
easier to put it down here on the silicone and it will not burn your tabletop and here it is all worked out perfectly and this is my wood loader PCB if you're interested I will put also a link to the video I made about this into the description and you can check it out there still a little warm but of course cools down by now but that thing is still hot and I know and I won't touch it and if I measure it with my heat gun you see over 100 degrees Celsius and that will burn your fingers pretty good anyway you can watch it I mean you can watch it I'm sorry you can touch it watch it touch it uh, on here easily and um, it's safe to handle just don't touch the top so overall I was looking for this I was waiting to get it for a long long time and uh, thanks to DF robot I did receive it and I absolutely love it and I like small things I also have the screwdriver and uh, soldering iron from Miniware that I mentioned and showed in my first video of it and uh, it's great for small works anyway thanks for watching and uh, thank you to my five patreon supporters and if you want to support me in any way you can check out my tindy store you can of course like subscribe and uh, click the notification bell for future videos and uh, you can buy me a cup of coffee via paypal if you like or even become a patreon if you feel generous today so anyway that's it. Thanks for watching and take care, everybody.